Santa María, nuestro Dios, cielo santificado, sea tu nombre. Santa María, Santa María, nuestro Dios, cielo santificado, sea tu nombre. Santa María, Santa María, nuestro Dios, cielo. Luis Progreso, y gracias a la misericordia, this is Asista Luis. And this is the second video on my collection of grimoires or, you know, books that I collect. Uh, this video is on the six and seven books of Moses, and it's edited by Joseph Peterson. It is uh, printed by Abyss, and I th it's hardcover, and it is around, I think, 340 pages beautiful book I think it was published in 2008 okay so it is a very beautiful grimoire and so a lot of people ask me you know what is my fascination and my love as being a Puerto Rican espiritista and also a brujo with grimoires well the whole, uh, my whole love for grimoires uh, started way back in, I think, 1985 or something around that time. And I, I was around 15 years old and I had come up with, uh, I came off, uh, I came upon this booklet right here. It was called uh, Secrets of Magical Seals by Anna Rivas. It's a modern grimoire of amulet charms, symbols, and talismans. And I came upon this uh, little grimoire. You can see and it has different, it has the keys of Solomon's and, and uh, the power squares and all that. But within the book, it also has very small section, which is on each one, on the sixth and seventh books of Moses, the seals and the talismans used within that book. So this, of course, this little booklet, of course, uh, intrigued my interest in this and learning a little bit more about it you know understanding and uh, reading a little bit more about that so I had this for a while you can see it's a little old since then and then I came upon uh, a version of the sixth and seventh book of Moses by the Puerto Rican writer author my Jean Gonzalez Whipler and I think it was uh, printed in 1990 it was printed uh, on original products, which is based in uh, the Bronx, New York, Bronx, New York. And I had that version for the longest time until I came upon this one, which was printed in 2008. And of course, there's many printings of this book, but this is one of the most beautiful. And if you can see, the seals are very clear. And the incantations are very, the incantations and prayers are very clearly written. Very, very clearly written in English and, of course, very clearly written. Unlike these other older versions where the, the seals and... and, and the seals and the sigils are really chalky. You can hardly, sorry about the movement of the telephone, I'm trying to hold the phone as clear. But, you know, most of the seals are, are very chalky, very, you know, hard to see. It's around 340 pages. I recommend all the books, all the grimoires written by uh, Joseph Peterson. This one's around, I think, 55 to $60 right now. So I'm going to give you a little bit of the history of this book and why me, uh, Sancista Brujo Luis, have, have a fascination, who's a spiritista and a brujo, why I have a fascination with these types of grimoires and why do I have this love and respect for them, okay? The history of the six and seven books of Moses date back from the 18, later part of the 1800s, where books of this, uh, of earlier versions, which were, I think in German, uh, were published in ma um, manuscripts or, or pamphlets and were handed down from uh, occultists to occultists. And, uh, of course, 
originally it was written, I guess, I guess in German. And then in English, uh, they made it into the America, to the United States and became popular or well-known within the Pennsylvania uh, cunning folk tradition of, of, of Pennsylvania. And then, of course, English versions were printed. I'm not sure what year it was when the first English version of this book was printed. You can see it's very beautiful. You can see the seals are really nice. But, you know, it was printed in the, the, the first English version was printed in, I don't know, the later part of the 1800s, the 1800s. And then it soon uh, be, was brought down to the southern parts of the United States where it was adapted into the African spiritual, spiritualism traditions uh, such as hoodoo, you know, and it was adapted into hoodoo. And then later, it was brought to the Caribbean, especially to like Jamaica, where much of the, these works are used in in Obea, the traditions of Obea, and the traditions of Rastafarian. Of course, these books were not really popular among, amongst Latinos until uh, the Puerto Rican writer Maijin Gonzalez Whipler published her version, which I'm, I think was in the 1990s. I don't have the copyright here, but I'll, I'll post a picture of it. And when I got that copy, it was really choppy and it was really crappy, but it was, it was really interesting at the time and I enjoyed it. And I had that copy, I still have that copy somewhere until I came upon this copy right here, which is one, like I said, is one of the best versions of the book of the of this grimoire because like I said trying to hold all the seals sorry about my dog all the seals are very clearly written Allegedly, uh, the spells and incantations within this book are the ones used by one of the greatest wizards, and wizards, biblical wizards and biblical sorcerers next to King Solomon, which is Moses, uh, the quintessential wizard. And these are the seals and sigils that Moses used on Egypt. Uh, see if I can find one. You know, to free, you know, the slaves from Egypt. Uh, he used these seals to part uh, the Red Sea. He used uh, these seals, some of these seals. You can see his little, I don't know what the stains of those are, but he used some of these seals to uh, part the Red Sea, uh, draw water from the rock. When I get it so that I'm not moving the cell phone, it's not easy recording with one hand. I'm trying to find one. Conjurations of the Laws of Moses. These seals are allegedly what Moses used uh, for the plagues in Egypt. Like I said, for the parting of the Red Sea, the drawing of the water off the rock. And whether this is true or not, it is beautiful to own. It is just in part of, of the occult or the par not paranormal, but the occult. 
and in traditions like that. It is just a, a, a beautiful book to to have. Now, people ask, why does a Piritista and a Sancista, you know, use these? I use this a lot in my, my trabajos espirituales, my spiritual work, uh, for blessing items, for candles. I draw the sigils on candles. I, 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 I put them in resguardos. Resguardos are what you would consider in hoodoo uh, mojo bags. I don't use this in my espiritismo whatsoever, in my Puerto Rican espiritismo. I use it mainly in my trabajo espirituales and my, my brujería. Of course, never to harm anybody. But, you know, in my, in my trabajo espirituales, it's a beautiful book. Uh, if you believe that, that Moses even used this, if you do, if you don't, that's another video altogether and a debate that I'm not going to debate here. But... For his story and uh, in for a collection of a person who enjoys collecting grimoires, it is a beautiful book to have. It's one of the best books on the, one of the best printed books on the sixth and seventh books of Moses, edited by Joseph Peterson, printed by Ibis. It is uh, I think 340 pages. Hardback was printed in 2008. It has 240 pages used in traditions uh, such as uh, American Hoodoo, Rastafarian, Obea in the Caribbean, uh, traditions in Brujeria, not necessarily cerem ceremon ceremonial magic, I'm trying to say that word, ceremonial magic, not necessarily ceremonial magic as I don't practice ceremonial magic. But in those traditions, they do use it. Again, I use uh, some of these sigils, like I said, in reguardos, which are like little mojo bags. I carve them in candles. It is a beautiful book to own. You can tell I've used it. And, of course, I'm always drinking my coffee near my books. So my version, or my book, has some coffee stains <laughs> but anyways it is a beautiful book i recommend it if you're interested in collecting grimoires i'm trying to not so it's not so blurry i recommend it i recommend all the books by joseph peterson all his books are beautiful uh i don't practice necromancy i'm not a necromancer i don't practice ceremonial magic I just enjoy collecting grimoires and, and, and so and so. But it's a beautiful book to own. Uh, this is the best, one of the best English versions. It's around $55 to $60. I highly recommend it. If you want to start your journey on collecting grimoires, this is one of the first ones that you should get. If uh, This is a, the second video on my on my video series on grimoires if you haven't seen my video on the book of eboron oberon please check that out again this is san sister luis if you enjoyed my video please press like if you please leave a comment please subscribe let me know that you enjoy my videos this that motivates me to keep doing videos this is san sister brujo luis santo sanse much blessings. Beautiful book. Santo Sanse. San Sista Brujo Luis.